Since being rescued from the shelter, two-year-old Sunshine has been lighting up the ranch with her kisses and charming personality. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's no doubt she'll make someone a perfect companion. And Rashi thinks she's found just the person. Hey, Juan, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Today, Eric and I are speaking to Juan, and we're going to learn about him to see if he's a good match for Sunshine. So, Juan, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do for a living? Yeah, so I studied fashion at um, college for about two years, and I have my own boutique for women. And we actually started it during the coronavirus, me and my mom. My mom's like my best friend. We just moved into a really big townhome and it's in Encino and it's beautiful. It's really relaxing. There's like parks everywhere. Juan mentioned to me that one of the main reasons they did recently move into this three level townhome was because there was too much trauma attached to their old home where they lost their dog, Angel. She was just like my rock. I would take her everywhere with me. She brought me so much joy in those 17 years. Do you mind sharing how she passed? I was coming home that day. She was on a leash and then I tripped and she just went onto the street and was hit by a car. It just happened so fast. There was really nothing I could do about it. Unfortunately, it was just very sad. I know accidents happen and I'm really happy that he's been able to talk about it, process it, not blame himself anymore. Uh, that's really important. Rashi was telling me you do some public speaking? Yeah, so I do a lot of um, empowerment for the LGBTQ community. Just growing up, I faced like a lot of trauma with uh, being gay. I came out when I was like 15 years old and Angel was with me through that whole entire process. I gave myself a little bit of space to just process it all, but I think I'm ready. I'm, I want a new best friend hopefully a chihuahua. I'm actually really excited because we did rescue a dog recently that pretty much fits the bill. So oh, wow. yeah, we're gonna assess her here a little bit more, but I'm gonna keep you posted, okay? Thank you guys again so much. Our pleasure. You're welcome. Knowing that Eric and Rashi have a match means the world to me. It just feels like it was meant to be. Coming up, Eric works on Sunshine's Street Smarts with an emphasis on leash safety. The reason why I want her to do this is it creates a safer environment for your dog. It's been a week of R&R &R for sweet, natured Sunshine. In addition to letting her acclimate, Eric has used the time to bond and give her daily health supplements. Good job. But now it's time to get serious and start training. All right, Sunshine. Because Sunshine has little understanding of obedience, Eric starts with the most basic cue, the sit. To make her more comfortable, Eric incorporates an unconventional tool, her bed. What happens is when they get onto that plush bed and you lure a treat over their head, their natural reaction to get a better footing is just to sit back. And as soon as she displayed that, I would say yes and reward. Yes. Once Sunshine gets the hang of it, good job. Eric segues to the grass. Let's try it right here. Yes. Good job, Sunshine. Eventually, Eric is able to fully incorporate the hand signal. Yes. And the verbal cue. You sit. Treat driven Sunshine proves to be a fast learner. And over the next few days, she adds more cues to her repertoire. Leave it. Eventually, yes. working up to one of the most important skills she'll need in her new home, loose leash walking. Because Juan's previous dog bolted while on a walk and was tragically hit by a car, Eric wants to make sure that Sunshine is both secure and experienced on leash. Follow. As soon as she makes the decision to follow me, I say yes and reward. Yes. And then I start getting a little bit more picky. Let's go this way. Because the proper way of walking on a street is against traffic, Eric makes sure that Sunshine always walks on his left side. Anytime a dog walks on your left-hand side, when you're walking in a street, it creates a safer environment for your dog. Yes. One of the things I noticed with Sunshine is that when I started to shorten that lead, she kind of anchored a little bit. Right turn, right turn. Sunshine! So I gave more slack to the leash, and as soon as I did that, she started to follow again. Yes. Good decision. She hasn't quite got that she's supposed to walk on my left consistently, but she's doing great. Good job, Sunshine. Coming up, an unforeseen issue creates a big concern for this tiny chihuahua. A lot of stairs. 
Lucky Dog is presented by Cosequin Joint Health Supplements. It's been a promising couple of weeks for two-year-old Sunshine. This pint-sized Chihuahua has mastered all six classic cues and earned her silver medal. And although she's one step closer to her new home, it's her new home that poses the biggest new obstacle. So these are photos from one. All right, so here's the living room. Though Juan's townhome is beautiful and spacious, one aspect of the layout raises concern. A lot of stairs. Because steps can be intimidating for small dogs, Eric needs to make sure that Sunshine feels comfortable going up and downstairs. All right, Sunshine. Today I'm working with Sunshine on stair training. And what I want to do is start to walk up the stairs and see if she'll follow first. Look at that, good job. You wanna come back down? There we go. Yes. If she goes up a step, she gets a reward. All right, let's go. And I'm just kind of luring her up the stairs. Good job. And as I get to about to the fourth step, she kind of pauses and anchors a little bit. One more. Almost. Almost, come on. Instead of forcing her, Eric simply sits down and encourages an interaction, which makes the situation less intimidating. I sat down, and as soon as I did, she followed me up, and then she got a reward. Yes, very good. And then it wasn't so scary for her, so we started to go back down. There we go. And then back up. There we go. Eric continues this process, adding more and more steps until Sunshine eventually reaches the top. She was like Rocky going up those stairs, which was really cool. Good job, Sunshine. And I'm just relieved because it would have been really challenging having her go into a home that is three levels and not being able to go up and down those steps. So proud of you. Now that Sunshine is acclimated to stairs, Eric moves on to the final frontier of her training, safety. Juan went through some Big trauma with his previous dog, where his dog unfortunately got out and was hit by a car. And I want to make sure that if I can help prevent that, I will. That means training Sunshine on an advanced recall. I want to make sure that whatever distractions are in the environment for Sunshine, that she reliably comes back to me and leaves those distractions alone. Sunshine! Eric starts off by simply testing her cum cue. Now I'm going to start to put some distractions in the yard. So I first started with this little gorilla that I know that she loves. It's a pretty special gorilla. Ready? Yes. I want her to pay attention to my voice, regardless of what's happening in the environment. Once she mastered that, I introduced her really high value toy, which is a giraffe. <gasps> Ready? Sasha? Yes. She would go for it initially, and then she came back to me. Sunshine. Eric continues testing her with more toys and in different environments. Come on, Sunshine. Come on, Sunshine. I'm really happy with her progress, and I'm going to continue to work on this to make sure that we get it to a point where it's reliable for me, and I just need to transfer it to one. All right. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, from heartache to hope, a new chapter begins. My heart was beating. I was just so excited. She's so cute. Lucky Dog is presented by Cosequin Joint Health Supplements. A month ago, Sunshine was one of the many chihuahuas being consistently overlooked in the shelter. Until Eric and Rashi stepped in and gave her a second chance. Though she's destined to shine on with her new family, today, her sun is setting at the ranch. I really bonded with Sunshine. She is so much fun and so cuddly, and I couldn't be more happy about the match that we've made. All right, Sunshine. Baby girl. It's time to go, OK? <laughs> OK. I called Juan, and I wanted him to meet me at the park to see how everything's going. And I don't think he had any idea that I was bringing Sunshine. Hey, Juan. Oh, my gosh. How's it going? Hi, Sunshine. <laughs> Look who it is, Sunshine. Hi. My heart was beating. I was just so excited to meet Sunshine for the first time. She's so cute. Yeah, what do you think? It's weird because chihuahuas are usually really scared, but she's yeah. not. What stood out to me the most about Sunshine is just how friendly she was. We just had an instant connection. You want to see what we've been working on with her? Yeah, of course. Cool. Let's go ahead and go on okay. over here. After what Juan and his family have been through with their previous dog, I want to make sure that Juan feels comfortable handling Sunshine and that Sunshine also has a good recall. So the hand signal for Sid is just 
Raising your hand okay. right up to your waist level. Okay. So it's just like this. Okay. And then we taught her coming when called. So I just want you to take your two fingertips and you're gonna point it right down to the side and you're gonna say her name. Sunshine. <laughs> and then oh, yes. So cute. There we go. <laughs> Over the course of the afternoon, Eric takes one through each of the cues. Just felt amazing to just have a new companion and forget about the past and the pain that I went through and just start over. After making sure Juan was comfortable, it was now time for Sunshine's gold graduation medal. What is that? Did you get your gold medal? Good job, Sunshine. Good job. All right, Juan. Thank take care you. of her, all right? I will. I'll take really good care of her. All right. Be good. Be good. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. I know it's the last time I'm going to see her, but the future is going to be very bright for Sunshine. Let's just say that. The name is perfect, Sunshine, just because it feels like I've been kind of in a dark space after my last dog died. So having Sunshine will just be like new memories with a new friend. And she's going to go everywhere with me. She's going to be my new baby. Yeah. From hopeless to a home, that's our mission. One dog at a time.